in our Lenten worship, one of the highlights that we have is the lengthy reading of Jesus' passion, his suffering and death in our place. And as we read that, we consider just why Jesus does that. To pay for your sins and mine, a suffering, a sad suffering that is mixed with joy. This coming week, as we read that Passion History, we'll begin by seeing how Jesus came into Jerusalem as our conquering king to cries of Hosanna, save us. What Jesus' name means, he saves. They cry out to Jesus that he would save them. And yet as we continue on, we see Jesus knows how that's going to happen, that he suffers and dies, and it begins by predicting his own betrayal. Well, as we see that and we recommit ourselves to our struggles with sins again and again, day after day, we see that same cry and we raise that same cry like the psalm that we'll sing that in our midweek services reminds us. It's in Psalm 14 where it discusses, David discusses how the wicked seem to have their way with God's people and yet God arises. At the end of that psalm, he declares, Oh, that salvation would come out of Zion when the Lord restores the fortunes of his people. Let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. As we focus on the suffering and death of our Savior Jesus, don't take your eyes off of this. From the very beginning, he comes to save his people from their sins. And so, yes, while we may have muted and quieted joy, it's joy nonetheless and knowing that this suffering accomplishes our salvation. Salvation has come out of Zion. As near Jerusalem, Jesus paid the ultimate price that took away our sins, nailed them to the cross. So from the very outset, as we see this passion history unfold and we consider his suffering, remember why. It's so that you can be glad so that you can rejoice with Jesus forever in heaven. God's blessings on your week.